Senate Joint Resolution 5. Mr. Secretary, please read the resolution. Senate Joint Resolution 5, offered by Senator Connolly. Senator Connolly. Thank you, Mr. President and members of the Senate. Senate Joint Resolution 5 designates the bridge at Ro Illinois Route 38 and Illinois Route 53, the Jerome F. J.R. McBride Memorial Bridge. And if you'll bear with me, I want to tell you the story of this incredible guy who played a great influence, not in, just in my life, but in the lives of many in his county. There's a saying about the University of Notre Dame, and it goes like this. If you've been to Notre Dame, no explanation is necessary. If you have not, no explanation will suffice. That adage in many ways applies to my friend, the late DuPage County board member, J.R. McBride. I'll do my best today to describe this incredible man, but frankly, no words can aptly describe this witty, thoughtful, and courageous friend. J.R. comes from an Oak Park Irish clan. He attended Fenwick and Loris College, where he met his beautiful wife, Becky. They settled into Glen Ellen and began to raise their family. J.R. was a husband, father, and dedicated public servant. He represented Wheaton and Glen Ellen on the DuPage County Board. He was the perfect definition of a public servant, dedicated to his district, above partisan politics, and devoted to his family and community. At the age of 34, with a wife and five children, J.R. was diagnosed with a brain tumor. How did he respond? He responded by throwing himself into public service and community involvement for social service agencies that served the less privileged. You name the organization, Misericordia, Metropolitan Family Services, Outreach Community Ministries of DuPage, and the American Cancer Society, to name a few, were organizations he passionately served, and they were greatly benefited. He routinely brought elected officials, like myself, to Misericordia to meet Sister Rosemary and her crew. On candy days, there was an army of JR's pals raising money for Misericordia on Roosevelt Road. His annual Misericordia fundraiser out by us was like the gridiron club dinner in Washington. You left without money, and you certainly left without your dignity. JR never let on how serious his illness was. He battled brain cancer for 13 years. He endured four brain surgeries, chemotherapy, radiation, and any new technique that could extend or save his life. His surgeries were so difficult, he said, <clears throat> he said goodbye to his friends, only to be talking to him a few weeks later. Through it all, J.R. McBride showed an uncommon grace in the face of mortality the likes of which I've never encountered. Many officials, elected officials talk about bipartisanship. J.R. was bipartisan to his core. He was simply loved by Republicans and Democrats alike. Being from Oak Park, J.R.'s supporters and friends include people you've probably heard of. Phil Rock, Roger Kiley, and our own friend and colleague Don Harmon. After he passed away, con it, Democratic Congressman Bill Foster and our former colleague, Congressman Peter Roskam, went to the well of Congress and delivered remarks honoring J.R. A week later, Chicago's 14th Ward Alderman Ed Burke, too, put forth a resolution in the Chicago City Council honoring this man. But most telling was a tribute from one of his colleagues. See, folks, in 2008, for the first time in decades, a Democrat was elected to the DuPage County Board. His name's Tony Michalassi. He's from Naperville. He's a, he's a dear friend. On the day the county board honored J.R. after his passing, it was through tears that Tony told the story of his surprising election and that the first person to call him wasn't the DuPage County Democratic Chairman, wasn't his township Democratic Chairman, but it was J.R. McBride. And he told him, hey, don't worry about this Democrat-Republican thing. I got your back, Tony. Tony became, J.R. became Tony's mentor uh, throughout his term. After be, being elected to the Senate in 2012, every time I saw him, he started the conversation the same way, if you could believe this. Hey, be good to Don Harmon. Be good to Don Harmon. I'm like, Junior, I don't have a choice. <clears throat> 
J.R. truly lived it. He approached life in the moment. In his inspirational battle with cancer, he never lost his love for others, his amazing sense of humor, his commitment to helping others, his love for his family, and he was a constant reminder of how precious life is. J.R. was the ultimate bridge builder, so it is only fitting today, members of the Senate, that the bridge at Route 53 and Route 38, about three blocks from where he lived in Glen Ellen, should bear his name for not only those of us who knew him and miss him dearly, but those who never met him and may take the time to learn about this man who lived an inspiring life and literally gave it all for his family and community. I apologize. J.R. McBride is survived by his wife, Becky, and their five children, Lauren, Molly, Abby, Sarah, and Marty. Mr. President, members of the Senate, I respectfully ask for an I vote on this resolution, and thank you for your indulgence. Senator Naibo, for what purpose do you rise? To the resolution, Mr. President. To the resolution. Um, Mr. President, I could never speak about this resolution as eloquently and as passionately as my friend Senator Connolly just did. Um, I knew Jared McBride. I, I was not nearly as close as friends as a lot of other people were. And um, I never had the opportunity to represent him because he unfortunately passed away before uh, I took this seat here in this body. Um, but I represent his family. Um, what, what Senator Connolly said is absolutely true. Um, such a decent person and a forgiving person. J.R. and I didn't always see eye to eye, but uh, Mr. President, one of the reasons that I am back here is because J.R. McBride stuck his neck out, extended an olive branch, we developed a relationship, and he became, again, a very good friend. Senator Connolly, thank you for doing this. This bridge is gonna be in the 24th district. Um, and you spoke wonderfully, and I don't think anybody could have done it better. Thank you. Senator Harmon, for what purpose do you rise? Thank you, Mr. President, to the resolution. To the resolution. I, too, uh, would like to join my co-sponsors in saluting J.R. McBride. Um, I went to grade school at St. Giles with uh, J.R. Jerry back then. He never liked it when I called him Jerry, so I actually stopped after a little while. Um, uh, a, a rare, a rare man. I don't know what it is about the DuPage County line that turns good-born uh, Irish Democrats into Republicans, um, but but I, I, I salute him, and it's, um, it is a lesson to all of us about our own mortality. For those of us who think we are too young to die there, but for the grace of God go any of us. But for someone like J.R. who died much too early, to have uh, left such a lasting legacy in his community um, and in his family, um, he will be remembered for a long time. And so um, for all of his family still with us, um, we extend our regards and, um, and this small tribute to uh, help remember J.R. McBride. Thank you, Mr. President. As this resolution requires expenditure of state funds, all. A roll call will be required. The voting is open. Have all voted who wish. Have all voted who wish. Have all voted who wish. Take the record on that question. There are 58 ayes, no nays, none voting present. Receiving a required constitutional majority is declared to adopt it. Senator Conley, for what purpose do you rise? Uh, Mr. President, if we could, I would ask that the body uh, take a moment of silence uh, to remember my friend and Don's friend, uh, J.R. McBride, who passed at the age of 47 years old. Will all members rise for a moment of silence? <laughs> 